for you all that dislike Devin Haney, you need to understand something. Devin Haney is good for boxing. When Devin Haney decides to hang up the gloves, the sport of boxing is going to miss Devin Haney. What Devin Haney is doing is something that you all favorite fighters should be doing, which is trying to fight the very best. Rumor has it that Devin Haney is negotiating with Teofimo Lopez's team. Now, I know some of you guys are going to come out and say, well, Devin Haney's not like that. You know, uh, he's been spoon fed. You know, he's not from the struggles, whatever that nonsense is supposed to mean. But at the end of the day, Devin Haney track records proves that the rumors are true. Because Devin Haney, if he's not if he's not trying to fight the very best, he's at least fighting one of the best. So with Devin Haney's track record, it's kind of hard not to believe that he's trying to fight Tiafuma Lopez. Now, if this fight doesn't happen, I can almost guarantee it isn't because of Devin. It's probably due to Tiafuma Lopez not feeling confident in himself to fight Devin Haney. You see, Devin Haney's track record says that he's got the lightweight division in order. He cleaned up the mess that Lomachenko made. Now we don't even talk about the franchise belt anymore because Devin Haney took care of that situation. He gave us an undisputed lightweight champion and he's working on becoming the undisputed junior welterweight champion. Now, I'm not sure if he's going to achieve that goal, but it doesn't change the fact that at least he's trying to attempt to become the junior welterweight undisputed champion. And so if this fight falls through between Devin Haney and Tiafima Lopez, you got to give credit where credit's due. You can think that Tiafima Lopez is going to knock Devin's head into the audience all you want, but you have to give credit where credit's due because Devin Haney is the one that's looking to fight the very best. He gave us the fight that we won for a very long time, and that was the fight between him and Lomachenko. He gave us that fight when he didn't have to. But y'all didn't give him credit for that. Y'all actually were more mad the fact that he got his hand raised and instead of celebrating him giving us the fight that we wanted. It was an entertaining fight at that. But y'all didn't celebrate him making the fight happen when he didn't have to. So you got to give credit where credit is due. 